One of Youngstown's oldest landmarks will soon be torn down to make room for further expansion of the Chokan plant. Immaculate Conception Church has sat on the same east side corner for 130 years, but it's been closed for the last seven. More details tonight on Making Room for Progress. Youngstown's Immaculate Conception Church can be seen these days framed between two buildings of the Chilcan plant that's being constructed just off of Oak Street. We're standing literally, like you said in the past, looking at the future. Immaculate Conception is in Councilman Julius Oliver's first ward, and he supports yesterday's announcement that the city is close to an agreement to buy the church, tear it down, and use the land for expanding the Chilcan operation. No demolition date has been set. I haven't seen a, a group, you know, stand up to say we're going to raise money to, you know, save Immaculate Conception. Um, I haven't seen it placed on a historic, you know, registry. Everything at some point's got to come down and it's time for a change. John Kennedy owns the Royal Oaks Bar a block away from the church. He too supports tearing it down. He's been inside. We thought about putting a banquet hall in there, but all the pews are gone. Uh, the furnace was gone at the time. There's, it's not in a real good state of repair. Immaculate Conception's cornerstone reads 1888, making it the oldest Catholic church in Youngstown. It was an Irish parish that served the immigrant families who made up the once vibrant neighborhood that surrounded it. But in 2011, the neighborhood depleted and the families long gone, Immaculate Conception closed and was later sold. Chilcan has taken over. We're in a renaissance in Youngstown and this is something that's going to be historic again. They've had a buildings next door to me, houses go down, and it's sad. But out of that comes life. I was in contact today with Chilcan owner Mitchell Joseph, who was baptized at Immaculate Conception and attended many weddings there. He says he'll try to accommodate people who want keepsakes, but most everything of value has been removed. He also says the rectory next to the church will be saved for now. It may be used as a construction field office. The school across the street will also remain. In fact, he envisions the school possibly being used one day for offices or a medical building.